here we are uh, uh, on Championship Sunday uh, weekend. Here we go. This is it. Uh, we have we have made it, if you will. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. And so it starts with the AFC Championship <laughs> game in Kansas City. Um, so much made all year long about the Chiefs being under 500, not once, not twice, but three different times. And when it all comes down to it, the Chiefs not only do not get the first seed and the bye week, they still get the AFC Championship game at home, even though the team that denied them the ability to win out and get that one seed and the team that knocked them down a peg out of that one seed uh, is in their house. The Cincinnati Bengals, who took care of the Chiefs in Week 17, back again. It is a rematch. Just run it right back again. Bengals at Chiefs on CBS, leading into a rematch of Week 18. We said it all uh, all along. Uh, the first day, as soon as Week 18 was done, and we got through that craziness of the Sunday night football game, ending in a tie or not, and what that meant for the the uh, the Steelers. I said it that day, and I will say it again. Will the Rams rue the moment that they could not knock out the 49ers when they had the best chance to do it, which was up on them at home week 18 when they had the ball and an ability to pick up one single first down would have eliminated the 49ers, couldn't do it, punted the ball back, gave them the football uh, 87 yards from pay dirt, uh, with 88, 88 yards from pay dirt with 87 seconds to go. And um, no timeouts left. And the 49ers went those 88 yards in 61 seconds, forced overtime, made the playoffs, and now having bounced the Cowboys, one and done the Cowboys, and one and done the Packers. Here they come in Los Angeles, where the Rams, despite losing that day, despite losing that day and the ability to have the two seed and not one but two games at home, forcing them on the road for the divisional playoff weekend. And of all places, they wind up in Tampa Bay and they knock out the world champs for the right to host this game in Los Angeles to try and do the Bucks one better than last year, which is host the NFC Championship game for the right to stay at home and win the Super Bowl in your home stadium. As we remember last year, the Bucs had to win the NFC Championship game on the road for the right to host the Super Bowl, which they became the first to do so. And then, of course, the first to win it there. And I've said this and I will repeat it again. I said this two weeks ago after the 49ers won and done Got into the playoffs, actually, before it was the, against the Cowboys. I laid it all out for you 49er fans, and I'm just going to repeat it one more time right here to whet your appetite for Championship Sunday. This is all-time stuff. What the 49ers have here is all-time stuff, not just, obviously, to put another trophy in the case. They've done that before. And not just to try and beat a long-standing rival. They've done that before in a championship game. They got the monkey off their back in the Super Bowl with Steve Young by taking care of the Cowboys. When the Cowboys were amidst their tripleting, and I don't mean Jeff, when they were doing all their triplets in Super Bowl winning, the Niners beat the Dallas Cowboys. And so what they did Back in week 18, to make this possible, they have all-time stuff by not only beating their long-standing rival, but doing it in their house. Yes, they've beaten the Rams six in a row, but this one's different. If they do it in their house, denying the Rams the ability to make the Super Bowl in their house, whose house? Rams' house. For them to go into the Rams' house and prevent the Rams from making the Super Bowl in their house, and it's they who play in the Rams' house in the Super Bowl instead. And they do it with Jimmy Garoppolo at quarterback, the guy who the 49ers were kicking the tires elsewhere on from the minute the calendar turned to 2021, and the first guy that they used in their decision-making process the first one whose tape apparently they started grinding 
was the one who the Rams beat them out on and is starting in this game too in Matthew Stafford. And the 49ers have a chance to have Jimmy Garoppolo despite all of that. Despite of what they did, for Jimmy to win this game and then make the Super Bowl in the Rams' house and then potentially win it there? So every single time they return to the Los Angeles Rams, SoFi Stadium, Rams' house, for every single year, as they will do forevermore, and say, this is our house? Michael Irvin last year on Super Bowl Sunday, NFL game day morning, he was the only one to choose the Bucks over the Chiefs. We all took the Chiefs. And that was so stupid. And I told you, remember I came home from that, and I'm like, don't ever let me bet against Brady again after I've already placed all of my chits on Tom Brady. Remember I did that? <laughs> and you, you, you said you wouldn't let me do it. Now I, I, do it. I went down with that Buccaneer ship well, this year. Yeah, it's a good ship and to go down with. You reminded though, us a few times this year. I know that. Even though, you know, uh, I sensed that that Rams defensive line against the banged-up offensive line of the Bucks was going to have their day and have their say, and they eventually, as we all know, did, and then eventually won despite – the mistakes on offense. You know, I, I said that last year, and what Irv said on that day resonates now and why I think the Rams are going to stick their foot in the ground anyway or what the Niners can use to their advantage. Irv said the Bucks would never let somebody come on their turf in their house and celebrate a Super Bowl championship in their house. They will never do that. They cannot let that happen. They can never, ever walk in this building again if somebody else won there. Mm. How can they protect their turf forevermore if the ultimate game on which to protect your turf the first time anybody has the ability to protect your actual hallowed home ground on Super Sunday? That you do not do that. And the Chiefs, as we all know, you know, not a long-standing standing rival of the Bucks. And I, I kind of said, like, all right, I guess when the Chiefs come back here or whatever. And he goes, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if they come back here once every four years. The Bucks will know it. And that's what's at stake on Sunday for the Rams. They have a right to play in the Super Bowl house. Their own home. Stay in their own beds. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, my gosh, what a tremendous advantage this would be. And also for them to open up the stadium their first year with fans. I mean, this is what's at stake for the Rams and what the Niners can plant a seed in this house and watch it grow for years and years and years forevermore. You know, 2027 season, it all comes down to this game for the NFC West. Huge game, you know. Hot seats could be hot. Who the hell knows? You know, jobs are on the line and players are playing for their contracts just like your normal huge game year in and year out that you would have. And we've heard that before and it will be huge on that day. But then the Niners can always say, yeah, but remember that this is our house. The Rams really want that. My gosh, plant the flag. Yeah, plant the flag. That's what the Niners can do. And then if they can take another step and win in that building this is what's at stake and this is why you have to think the rams cannot allow this to happen and why you know you hear it in this town i mean the rams are concerned the number of niners fans that could show up there there was a silent snap count for stafford on that week 18. this is this is it this is the time this game on sunday night has so much at stake Shanahan, McVay, Jimmy G doing what he's done despite the obvious lack vote of lack of confidence that the 49ers gave towards him for the long term. And yet here he is anyway. And here they are together as a team, as Shanahan said was possible. Huge. I can't wait. What a big game. And I know that I've lingered on this more than the AFC Championship game, but that one is going to be intense as well. And the amazing thing again for this weekend, for this championship game weekend, where we don't have Brady or Rodgers for the first time since 2009. 
couple days after Big Ben retires, that the changing of the guard has happened in the AFC. The torch has been passed, and I know that Brady took that torch away from Mahomes and doused it in that tribal council of the Super Bowl last year. He took the torch back. Mahomes has the opportunity to grab it, not specifically from Brady, but say I've got my second in three years and second since being drafted and then sitting for a year. He is the king now. I mean, he's at the top of the mountain and, you know, Josh Allen is going to have his say, but he's the king of the top of the mountain in the AFC right now in terms of quarterbacks. It's his conference. He's only appeared in this conference championship game four straight times. (laughs) Four years as a starter, four years AFC championship game appearances. And who can come at this king right now but Joe Burrow, who does not care about anything that I've just said. No, he doesn't. Anything that I've just Whatever said. Joe Burrow's doing right now, it's the coolest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Man, look at the way he brushes his teeth. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's wow. impressive. Look how he ate that McMuffin. <laughs> wow. Look at the way he's packing this bag for the road trip. Wow, to say he packs his bag that way. Oh, good oh, idea. I should do that, that yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, way. He puts his pants on both legs? Wow, wow that's, that's insane. Look at that Seriously, guy. this is what... Joe Burrow's bringing with Jamar Chase, and you've got, you know, Jamar Chase and Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey and Joe Mixon and Joe Burrow and Patrick Mahomes in the same building. Yep. The butt kicker, Evan McPherson, two excellent kickers, special teams terrific, and the Bengals just ready to roll, house money on the table, not knowing what they not what they're apparently supposed to know. And Joe Burrow going for Mahomes to basically say, yeah, you know, you, this is your conference, but uh, uh, I'm now in it. Here's my calling card. Championship Sunday, folks. 